Hey there everybody, my name is Kadimar and welcome back for another video of NHL 819 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now, in the last video, at the very uh, very end, when I actually ended up like stopping the recording and everything, I, I saw that I wasn't scouting a particular area, boys, by accident. I saw that I wasn't scouting the Russians, which is a really big problem, so I had to... I didn't have time, I don't have time to actually go and buy a scout. I'm going to do that after the season is done, like during the preseason and stuff, uh, during the contracts, I'm going to do that. But I saw that and I was like, oh shit, that's not good. So I'm only doing the potentials for Entropov and Wismuller because these two are apparently really big players. I don't know if they're going to be franchise or elite. I don't know anything about them because I forgot to add someone for Russia during the entire season, boys. That's not good at all. That's the only reason I for completely forgot about. And I don't know how I did it because it's one of the best regions that you have to scout. That you have to scout. So um, I guess right now we're going to continue the simulation, boys. We're going to go one week at a time, maybe, just to see if my scouts are good. I want to make sure that my scouts over uh, Russia is good enough, boys. So who ended up winning the cup? It's the, the Washington Capitals again, boys. All right. The Capitals are becoming a franchise. Ovechkin, boys, is not a joke. Already two, like he never won the Stanley Cup before. Well, now you can say he won it twice in a row. Holy... They're doing just like Pittsburgh, boys. Two Stanley Cups in a row for the Cap the Washington Capitals. All right, that's interesting. Really interesting right there, boys. Let's go see my scouts just to make sure that they're not ready just yet. I really want to make sure, boys, because Russia, I really wanted to just, like, have everybody. All right, looks like um, one of them is done. I'm going to make, I'm going to still assign him. Signing back because he's not quite ready yet. There we go. It says he's the first overall. See that? These two Russians are first and second overall, boys. I need, I need to see what they're worth exactly. I really need to see it. So it's really important for me. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna simulate another week. I really want to see if they're actually going to become like elites or franchise because I did see a franchise goaltender in there, boys. You know, it's he's not exact. Uh, I don't know if he's eventually going to become exact or something, but for now, he is. It still says it's a a, a franchise, all right, not fully scouted. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, so looks like we are done with these guys. They actually ended up. Scout, they want to scout more people, which I guess I'm good with. They can, yeah, they can go ahead and scout more people if they want uh, with the time remaining. So we're just going to go ahead and simulate to the draft. And let's see what we where we are. Anaheim in very first, it's Anaheim, Calgary, Colorado, Buffalo. We're looking for Detroit boys. We are all the way down at 11. So we kind of we kind of fell this one up big time. There's a lot of big players and there's one in particular that's 99 overall. It's the one created by the the game itself by E themselves. It's the little kid from every from every year. He's 99 overall. I kind of wanted to get him, boys. Don't know if I'm going to be I'm not going to be able to get him. But there's a plenty of other players uh like 11th place even if I can move up anyways, we're going to look at the retired players. I'm going to be able to like go up and have even better players. We're going to have an elite player. No, don't don't worry about that, boys. There's so many elite players every year in this game. So let's look at the forwards first. So forward wise, there's no legends uh, per se that um, actually retired. There's a couple of superstars like Gabarek, but no legends. Derek Roy, uh, Chris Kunitz, Ryan Malone. All right, nothing, nothing that particular. In defense, defense-wise, no legends whatsoever as well. Paul Martin, 
Like a couple, two superstars, but no legends. So we're good on that. And goaltenders, no goaltenders did uh, retire this year, so we're good. Nate Thompson and Marianne Gaborek decided to become scouts, boys. That's interesting. All right, so let's see where we are. We are at the draft. Now we did finish draft. I don't know if we finished um, uh, decently on scouting the Russians. We'll see how it goes, boys. Connor was really late. I, I had a, a month, only a month to work with that. That's not a uh, that's not a lot for the Russians. So I did what I could with what I had. So let's start this up right away, boys. We're gonna do the draft, and uh, this is basically what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, this year, I kind of want to show you guys the actual like free agents and everything. I want to show you guys how I signed them and the years I'm signing them to. So this. This video in particular is all going to be signings, uh, signing players and uh, getting players through the draft. So, one, two, three, four, five. I can probably get to the six pick, boys. So let's try to get to the six pick overall with my cheating system. I want to show you guys. I'm not afraid of cheating in this game, uh, in any game whatsoever. I'm not afraid of persecutions or anything. Uh, I'm going to do it, all right, if I can. So the way you want to cheat in this game is you can easily, and the time actually when you want to trade something, the time still goes up. So you got to make this quick. But we know for sure we're not going to get the first of all. I really doubt it. I really doubt it, boys. I'm going to try my best here, but I really doubt it. So what you want to do is always give them a prospect, a really good prospect like that has a... A good amount of trade value that you know you're not going to use during your fr your franchise. You're not going to use in your team. You want to trade him with your first draft pick to move up. It's wor it's going to work every time, boys. Whether it's one or two, it's always going to work. So, like top sixes and top nine, you can get rid of those. You can get rid of those. Those are the ones that you want to get just to be able to trade them afterwards. So if I get rid of these two, Setkov and Zablocki, for, say, their first round pick, six overall, it's working. There you go. We move up from five picks, boys, just like that. All right? Now, we just moved up from five picks. We're at sixth position. We can go all the way to one, two, three, four, five, all the way to first place. So let's try to move this up. They've got one minute. We got to make this quick because I know who you're going to pick. And it's pretty clear that they are going to try to pick uh, Ecker. Now it's gonna, not going to be easy for us to take, to take him or something. But you know what? I'm pretty sure I don't need this guy. So I'm going to try to trade the top six right here. And... Top nine and top six uh, uh, defensemen. All right, let's try to do it. Rejected. It's not enough. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna get this guy. We get rid of this guy, and give them instead maybe a top four. This guy, McIsaac, right there. Top four. All right. And trade accepted. We just cheated the system big time, boys. We went from eleventh position. All the way to very first draft pick. That's how you do it in this game. Very. <laughs> they're never going to patch that. That's a really big way of cheating. You've got a lot of prospect under your hand. You don't know if you're going to use them in the future. And even if. Like I just traded two players that I was going to trade. To uh, play eventually. Like two tops, a top four defensemen. McIsaac and a top six Ford, which I don't even remember his name, but I knew I uh, I was gonna play him. But for the very first draft pick, you gotta do it, and especially for the play I'm gonna get right here, it was worth it, boys. Don't don't start on me. It was worth it. You know why? Just for this year, it was absolutely worth it. Just for Ecker. Now it does say Wismiller and Entropov which are coming out of nowhere. These are play two players that are exact elite, so I did scale them up pretty good, nice. Um, it says uh, they're elite in everything, they're first and second, but these are 
the type of players that just popped off out of nowhere from the games, the system of the game. I know already what Henry Hecker, which is a guy that was created by EA itself, is 99 overall or in the 90s at, uh, at least. So we're going to get our very first overall draft pick as Henry Hecker, 19 overall. Look how many points he did. That's that. Look how many points he did in the league. 122 points in WHL, boys. This guy is going to be ridiculous in the league. He's going to be our first centerman right away from the start, from the very first year. So, Henry Aker, welcome to the Detroit Red Wings. 99 overall, medium elite. I swear I did not create him. That was the guy that was created from EA System. Now, you're probably telling me, well, Gab, you should have just not put him in the franchise, just put him aside in another team, uh, international team or something. But I wanted to have stuff like this. You know, if another team have, would have picked him, you wouldn't have, like you would have been all right with it. Because it's me, it's probably going to be all, like all over the place. But I'm really happy with, with that, boys. We just got our franchise player right there, boys. You know, it says he's a medium elite. He's a 99 overall. He's going to be like, it's, it's our Gretzky. We just got a Gretzky under the Red Rings, the Detroit Red Rings. You can already know for sure this year, next year, uh, the next year we're going to get, we are going to make the playoffs for sure. It's, it's for sure now. Now, I'm only doing that for the first draft picks, boys. The second draft pick, I'm not doing it, all right? Uh, the, my, my cheat system, I could do it for the second move up to a first overall, but I'm only doing it for the first draft picks. That's It's only the first draft picks I'm um, doing it for. So let's simulate sim to user pick, I guess. All right, so all the way to 11th pick in second position. We're gonna go first round. So let's see who they picked. Yeah, they were pretty good. Whistler was actually a 80 overall medium elite. So if I couldn't get Ecker, I could have gotten uh, this guy right here, which is a really great guy. He's all already ready for third position, third forward line. Uh, Antropov, is he ready for the lake? He's not ready yet, but he's, he's going to be ready pretty soon. Uh, se another centerman, boys. Centermans are full this year. Kako, I already knew he was at the, an elite. Uh, Byram, we've got Proberg. See all these elites that, uh, that were picked up, boys. So really, like, it's going to be a really great year. I'm going to just move him up real quick. There's, there we go. Capitals, the Washington Capitals just won two standing cups in a row. And they just got their hand on another left winger. Another elite left winger, boys. 79 overall, too. So, right. They're really set for the future. Yeah, they're, they're really set for the future, the, uh, the, the Capitals. And we're set for the future, too. With only one player, boys. He's 99 overall. And that's fine by me. Now I'm looking, boys, for uh, signs that I should tr get someone in particular. Now there is one exact elite for me right now that is scout. There's so much elites, as you can see, but there's only one scout uh, exact elite right now. It's Jason Lampman. Uh He's said to be in 200 and well, actually 182. So, I don't know, boys. It's not there yet. So, let's just see where we are. We're in the 40s right now. So, I don't know. I don't want to get Radulov because I don't know anything about him. We can look at his stats, though. It's not anything particular. It's, it's really not good. His stats are not good. Um, I don't want to get the top nine. He's a two-way forward. It's not going to be good. I, uh, I know for sure these are exact. So... Can only one who look like this one is not gonna be that good. Well, top four is good, but a uh, top medium, top nine. No, it's a two way forward again, boys. Uh, we've got this guy right here. We could try to get him. I mean, there's a two way uh, top four defenseman right there. It's actually 24 points. It's all right. Top six. He's in the what he needs to be. You know what? I'm running out of time right here, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and and, s and get the uh, exact player, the only exact one, so I can get sure uh, I can be sure that I get 
an exact elite boy so exact elite all right elite low a low elite 51 overall it's a defenseman two way forward a two way defenseman he's never going to play in our league so this is the type of player you want to trade next year for a better draft pick boys this is the type of player right there he's never going to play in our league 51 overall you can forget about that it's going to take way too long for him to actually improve and everything we got another a draft pick so top six right here top nine uh radulov was an elite and a better elite at that um, low elite still but 63 overall so we did mess up a little bit by not picking up instead of the other one but i didn't know what was like what Radulov was actually worth, boys. So I couldn't do it. We don't know anything about the Russians, really. Uh, we do know a little bit. We do know the stats. Even though the, the stats were not like really good for Radulov, I guess it's good enough, right? Centermans, the stats are not looking good. See, the stats are not looking good. If the stats are not good, boys, I'm not going to pick them up. Now, this guy, he's all right. He's a defenseman, 5%. Plus 14. You know what? I kind of want to get him anyways. I'm going to get this guy. Artemi Knatsev. He might be a top 4. Might be a top 6. I don't care. He's not going to be a top uh, a 7th. That's for sure. He's, it says he's an elite right now. I really doubt it. But he's got really great stats. He could really help out our team a lot in the future. So let's see what we got. Medium top 4. 57 overall though. That's not good. 57s. In, when their player is in the 50s, boys, that's not a good thing. Because you know he's not going to grow. He's not going to stay with the team. He's not going to grow enough. Unless really you play him a lot. He, he's not like going to grow a lot. So that's not good. So let's say for the 70s right here. We got a, a low elite say right here. But I, I really doubt he's not going to be a low elite, boys. 2 way forward 2 he's not, yeah, he's garbage. This guy's garbage. He's not a low elite at all. He's probably a top 9. So, we're going to take, we're, we're going to make sure to take someone we actually know is going to be as, like, an exact something. So, we're going to take this guy for now. Downing, alright, 18 years of age. It's 63 overall, top 4. Alright, we're going to make sure that we do pick uh, good players, so... They want, why would they give me something less? I don't want their 7 draft pick. I'm not interested in that. Come on now, New Jersey. <laughs> they trying to do my stuff. That's not going to happen. Alright, let's go for, this is the 104th overall. I think it's the 4th round, I think, boys. No, it's probably the 3rd round, actually. Yeah, it's the, probably the 3rd round. So, top 6 right here. Low, look at all these busts right here, boys. They're not worth anything. So we did, we're doing well on the scouts. Now there is this guy right here. Supposedly he's an elite. Uh, 35 points is impressive. He's got 9, uh, plus 9. Pl the 5.5% is not something I'm, uh, I'm really excited for though. I don't know boys. Top 4, medium top 4 maybe. Look at this defenseman right here. Let's look at this guy. I don't know, boys. Medium top four. Uh, a low top. It's a low top four too. And um, I don't know. He kind of went down a little bit. I don't know, boys. Do I take a chance with this guy? I don't know anything about it. I don't want to take chances with guys I don't know anything about, boys. This is the thing. I didn't scout properly. I didn't scout in the, like properly in th this year. It's already going to be like that's a little bit a little bit more difficult than when I scout in my own time because uh, I do it every month instead of doing every two weeks or so. I'm kind of tempted to try my luck with this guy right here, boys. But I do know we need uh, goaltenders as well. Do we have any goaltenders that are like yeah, like this right here? The tan maybe 35 wins. This guy is pretty good. No, let's get this guy, boys. This guy looks pretty good. He's 18 years of age, six foot two, 201 pound. We're gonna take Patan for our team now. Okay, fringe starter, 
He's not, he's far from an elite. But that's okay, boys. At least we got someone. We needed goaltenders for the future. He's not gonna be the one. But at least, like, eventually he can probably help us out. I don't know. We're gonna try out Eakin. Why not? We're gonna try out the, the elites, boys. So low top 9 right here. It can go all the way to low top 9, the elites, boys. All the way to 2 uh, ranks. So down to 2 ranks, basically, can go. So let's see where... See what we got in the elites. Maybe we got something better. We don't really. Hmm. We got me. Yeah, I guess these guys are all going down, as you can see. So I don't want to pick any of these guys out. Uh, I do want to pick uh, the elites that are probably like the had a chance. This guy's a low league defensive defenseman. I could pick him up, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, Ashton. Let's see if he's any good, boys, for our team. At this point, I'm just trying something out. So, low top four. There we go. Not the end of the world. But I'm bringing, I'm picking up a bunch of 50s overall. And that's the uh, the big problem right now. Is because of the 50s overall, they're, n they're all not going to grow. <laughs> they're not going to go anywhere. Now, this guy is apparently... He's a two-way forward. Low elite, apparently. Doesn't have... Well, he's pretty decent, I guess. Let's... Let's try it out boys let's try our lockout I actually you know what no I want Kate Pitt just because I want to make sure that I do have a, a goaltender so 48 overall that's not good he's a starter yeah he's a medium starter but never gonna play in the league We've got a bunch of players are go never gonna play boys that's not uh, really not good for us okay let's see what we got here bunch of low elites again so we got our uh, low elites, so a bunch of mediums right here. You want to look at the lows, but the lows are all like going down and stuff. The only ones that are, have a, pro a future or something is this one. So this one was counted a little bit more uh, than this guy. Apparently this guy is a goaltender too, but I'm going to go for this one, I guess. Which one is the most impressive? This guy looks like the most impressive one. I'm going to go for the goaltenders, boys. Pedersen. I'm going to try my luck here. Another French starter. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm stopping with the goalies. Goalies are not going to work, boys. Goalies are not going to work. Well, alright. So we got nothing right here, Scalid. For these regions. So we want to go for the, the ones we actually scouted. So there's no like, there's a low lead right there. We want to go for the lows, but at the same time, what are you going to do really, right? The lows are fine and all, but I don't know. I feel like these are not going to be that good. So I'm going to go for low top sixes. And you know two way forwards are not good, boys. You want to go for low top sixes. Snipers, grinders, maybe playmakers from time to time. Yeah, playmakers, you got to be sure that they're really good so I guess the best option right here would be for us to get one of these three guys right here or one of these two guys who are going up the low top sixes this guy is pretty much better worth it let me see yeah I think Todd Bells would be better yeah, this guy's 20 years of age, so I'm going to get uh, Todd Bells. 18 years of age. He's a little guy, though, but low top six. There we go. He's, actually, he's an exact low top six. So I did pretty well by Scali. I mean, I didn't have any seven front pick. But, so there it is. The only really great player I picked up, boys, was Ecker. The other ones were a bunch of low top sixes and stuff. I don't think I actually picked up another elite. No. I'm lying, I did pick up another elite, but he was in the 50s, so never gonna grow really. We can try to make him grow, but I really doubt it's gonna work. So let's go to resign phase. McLean, there I go. I'm gonna go to resign phase, boys. And uh, let me check the, the guys up pretty quick. So we're go we wanna check at the centermans. So there it is, 99 overall, boys. First liner, of course. Uh, it did great in the WHL. Hopefully, he can do great in our team. So, we're going to sign him for sure. All right. 
We absolutely want to sign him, boys. So there we go. He's going to be our first um, centerman. Now, Dylan Larkin can still grow, so he probably will become our first centerman as well. This is going to be a problem if it's the case. We're going to have to trade Dylan Larkin, boys. I don't want to do it because he's a really great player for us. Look at what he did last year. Well, he did pretty great last year. Could have been done better. But for second liner, he did really great, actually. Um, Atanasiu, so we got the a third forward line. And we got another third forward line, which is playing on the fourth, uh, fourth line. Nilsson was playing on the fourth line, boys. Now, Rasmussen might be ready for, ne for the fourth. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to be ready for to play in the fourth line, boys. He's pro yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be ready. When you go to 78, you're a deaf defenseman. You go to 78, 70, uh, 77, 70, 78. You're going to go for uh, the fourth line. I'm saying, uh, I said defenseman, but I, I wanted to say forward. Anyways, it always works. Always the same overall around that period, around that time. So let's see what we got. This guy, we want to get rid of him because he's absolutely garbage. He's never going to play. This guy as well, he's garbage. We don't have any real prospect, uh, real elite players in here. So we have so far one. I'm counting this guy as a fourth liner for now, boys. I think he's going to be a fourth liner. So he's going to be ready for the league for sure. Shoshnikov is going to be ready. Svetnikov, I should say, is going to be ready for the league. Uh, 77 overall, yeah. Next year is going to be ready to play in the NHL. So uh, we got to get rid of Vanek, boys. Unfortunately, Ryanek has got to get out of here. So we're going to get basically one, two, three, four. Our left wing is going to be really weak. But we got to do with the contracts. We got to deal with the contracts, boys. So one, two, right here. We're going to we have to sign this guy right here. There we go. Two minors for left wingers. Right wing now. Now right wing. We've got Nyquist. A second line. He's an, there's another second line right here in Menta. I don't think he's... No, he's going to stick to second line because he's not quite there yet for the first line. First line, you got to be 86 overall. He's not there at all. So he's not... Uh, he's still going to be a second line. So we've got two second lines right here. So what... Well, this second line right here so far, we got one. I do want to sign this guy probably. Huh? This guy, is he... Yeah, he's a fourth liner. Okay, so we got our fourth liner. So we got the second and fourth. We're going to keep this guy just so he can be our third. There we go. So two, three, four, boys. We never know if there's actually going to be... Uh, this guy... I want to keep Nyquist, boys. Nyquist. I want to keep him. He's really good. Really good player. But I, I want to see... Like, we're going to sign him in the free agents. I got to release him for now, boys. We'll see if there's actually... You never know. In the free agents, it might be a right wing that's first overall. Like, first liner. So, that's why I don't want to sign him and get uh, messed up afterwards, you know. So, we're going to need for right wings for sure... A first forward. There we go. I'm going to just... There we go. Write it down. First forward. We got Chris Terry. Which is a deaf forward. So he's going to be our deaf forward this year, boys. He's going to continue to be so. Frenzen is a fourth line. Oh, shit. Frenzen is a fourth liner? How in the world is he a fourth liner, boys? All right, you know what? I don't want him out. I'm going to actually buy him out. I'm going to cheat on this one. I don't want him. Brinson, you're out. I don't want a fourth liner in our team, boys. Uh, Arch Archibald. Miner. We've got another miner right here. We're going to keep these guys. We need two miners for the right wing as well. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and say two miners. All right, so we only need goaltenders now. So goaltenders, we need to check that up. Now, we did have two starters, but uh, Jonathan Bernier went back to backup goaltender now. Uh, Howard actually went up to the uh, starter goal, uh, starting goaltender for our team. 
Uh, he, we have to sign him. I don't know if I want to sign him, boys. He did not. Well, he actually played pretty well this year. He played pretty well last year. But I kind of want to check if we don't have any better goaltenders that are going to be in the, the in the free agents. So just to look at if we have better goaltenders and stuff available than him. Uh, I'm going to wait. So I released him, boys. He's in the free agents. We're going to re-sign him if we don't have any better goaltenders. Don't worry. A salary. Now, this guy, mining, starting. He's not going to grow any, more, any further. So... We can probably re-sign him, boys. Yeah, we're going to re-sign him just to be the veteran on our team. Now, he doesn't want to be re-signed, so we need to give him a little bit more. So, not a two-way deal. We don't want to give him a two-way deal, boys. So, we're going to give him... Uh, not two years. A one. We, we're going to give him a one-way deal. And I guess a 1.9 million. There we go. For this... Uh, goaltenders for the miners now we got a backup right here but we don't have really big goaltenders for the future but i'm going to get rid of this guy we're not going to need him i am going to need a starting goaltender though uh, so our best prospect right now is pit for the goaltender so this is the guy we're going to sign right here boys he's going to be our backup goaltender in the miners I think we are good to go. So let's go ahead and simulate until the free agents. All right, let's look into the free agents, boys. See what we got. So I don't want to look too quick. Centermans, we want uh, UFAs only. There we go. So centermans, what do we need exactly? We don't need anybody for the centermans. And there's no first liners. Now... My rule is always take always take the first liner so you can trade them up for better draft picks during the season, boys. So if we see first liners or top twos, we're all going to pick them up, right? Elite players, we're all going to pick them up. Uh, Duchesne, so is a uh, Duchesne, Eric Stahl, Joe Thornton. We don't need any of those. Great players, we don't need them. Uh, first liner. For left wing, now we don't need him. We don't need Panarin, boys. But um, we got to sign him, maybe just for trading him. Just for the, like, for the hell of trading him. Or we might just trade somebody else, like a, a lower player. One of the, th the three forwards. So we're going to do that for sure, boys. I'm going to end up having to trade anyway, so... We're going to sign this guy right here. And it's it's funny that there's only one team right now interested in it, in him. A Panarin is going to be a great player for us. Look at the stats, boys. Great player for us. So we're going to take Panarin. We're going to have our elite player right here. Uh, 10 million. All right. I'm going to give him a big contract of 10.375 million for five years. Big contract for Panarin. All right, and we got we actually need two miners for our team. So let's see what we got. Maybe a depth forward. No, we want some miners right here. So, well, maybe raffle. I don't know, boys. Depth forward. Nah, I want a miner. I want a, I want a miner, boys. So, Molson, Matt Molson, could be pretty decent. I'm gonna just get a bunch of guy uh, guys I recognize. There we go. So Matt Molson and Olstrom maybe. Yeah, I guess so. Brian Flynn actually. I recognized him. He's pretty decent. So I'm going to get this guy instead. Let's look at the right ring now. Zuccarello is the best option. So we need to actually pick up a first liner. You know what? We needed the first liner for the right wing. We can actually put... Panarin in the first line for the second the right wing boys. We can put it in the right wing. So actually works for us We don't need to look for Zuccarello or anything So uh, yeah, we're good. We're good on that. We don't need to do anything here We're gonna need to look for two miners for the right wings though. So Let's see at what we got. Look at what we got exactly. What is this? Top nine right here It's actually a pretty decent one right there. Is that blocky? Huh? Top nine, huh? All right. Yeah, I've got, I'm going to pick him up, boys. 
It's actually just a free, a regular free agent, boys. Okay, we're gonna pick him up. And I don't know why it's not... It needs to be in the overalls. There we go. It needs to be in the ro overalls. So I want um, an actual... There we go, Alex Chasson. We're gonna pick him up, boys. We're gonna pick Alex Chasson up. And the, the, the defenseman. Now the defenseman, we need a top two. Only a top two defenseman or a top four. In this case, it looks like it's gonna be a top four. We, we could take Chara. Look at his age, 42 overall. He might actually just take his retirement next year. He's not, he doesn't do any points for top four, boys. He doesn't produce like a top four at all. He, he does the point five. He does the five percent. He's in the my like he is in the plus. I don't know, boys. I don't know about that. Shara and our team might be good. Like might be good, but I don't know, boys. Forty-two overall. Forty-two years of age. That's a little bit rough right there. Strawman. Now this guy is not producing, but yeah. No, this guy's not good. Strawman's actually not playing good in all the categories. And so a Boomister. Boomister is actually not producing at all. I don't know, but and Boomister is not a good thing. You don't want Boomister actually because he's 35, he's gonna He's gonna drop at 82. He uh, has a bigger chance than Shara say per se to drop. So let's look at the Edler, I guess. Edler has actually good stats. Alright, so it's either I pick Edler up or he's 33. I'm kind of afraid he's gonna drop, boys. Don't know, boys. No, you know what? Let's pick up Chara for the hell of it. For the hell of it, boys. We're gonna pick Chara up. Uh, for one year only, yeah, for one year. Because you already know he's gonna... We're gonna have to look for a, a better defenseman next year. Probably next year there's gonna be a high chance for us to have a better defenseman anyways. Top two defensemen. So, Chara, you're up. You're gonna be in the team, I guess. And goaltender-wise, yeah, I kind of forgot to tell do the goaltenders, but... Yeah, there we go. So I was talking to you about, boys. You never know. If I would have signed Jimmy Howard... I would have been stuck with him as a starting goaltender. Now I can pick up any of these two goaltenders right here. I can either pick up Rene or Brobowski, which are both elite goaltenders now. Rene is 36 years old. Uh, he might actually drop. He might actually drop. What is he doing in his uh, career? He's having. He he just had a great year, boys. He has a. He just had a fantastic year. One of his best of his career. All right, and Brabovsky, Brabovsky had a great year as well. I'm kind of tempted to get Brabovsky just because he's younger, boys. Just because of that, um, he cost a little. He, he's costing a little bit more. Yeah, Rene's. I don't know about Rene, boys. He's gonna drop. He's gonna drop. He's 36 years of age. He might like become a starting goaltender. But he's 91 overall, so the fact that he's 91 overall kind of tells me that uh, he's going to stay there for a long time in the stats. We're going to take Brubowski, boys, just to be safer, just so we can get him for 7 years. We can get it for a long time. He's going to be like our big player, our, our like goalie for the future. He's going to stay there for a long time. Like We can actually know that. Uh, on like unlike Pekka Rene, who we don't know anything about, we don't know if he's actually gonna be a the be a, there for long or something. So we don't know. All right, we're good. We got everything we needed right here. Every player. Let's see. Let's simulate really quick. The Panthers want to trade. They want to give us their second round for Darren Helm. Um, actually, it might work in our favor. Hang on now. Might work in our favor, boys. Darren Helm. What is he? He's a, one of these third forward liners. Yeah. So, this might work in our favor. It, let's check this out pretty quick. 
They want what? A 7th round pick and a 3rd round pick. Which I don't care. I can give them that. And Helm. Let's look at our left wingers really quick. So Helm, we've got 1. Bertuzzi, I want to keep him. So 3 right here. And 4, 3, 4 liners. Yeah. And I think one of them... No, there's none of them. Like this guy right here. Zvechnikov is going to be our our fourth defender, our, our fourth left winger. So normally we would have yeah Abdul Kader, Bertuzzi, and then so we could pick up like three. That's the second line, third line. Panarin says in the first line, so second line, third line, and fourth line right here. We can get rid of him, of Darren Helm, no problem. What did he do for us last year? He did pretty great as a third forward liner. He did really great. He was a great player, but yeah, might say yes. He's a top nine. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of him. Why not, boys? Yeah, let's do that trade. Let's do that trade. It's gonna help us out. We can actually go and and sign one of these free agents for the right wing now, boys. Actually, we can take one of these free agents. So let's do that. Let's go see the free agents now, then. Uh, Zuccarello, we got a chance between Zuccarello, Eberle, Silverberg, uh, Silverberg, Nyquist, we could, uh, Nyquist, we could always pick him back up, boys. Alright, I know what I need, boys. I don't know which player it is, but I know what I exactly I need for the team. I need a player that scores goals for the second line, since we have a power, a power forward in Abdul Kader. We've got, uh, for the center, Larkin, that's going to be on the second line. Who is a, a natural playmaker. He plays like a playmaker too. So we need a sniper that uh, would be Eberle or Nyquist. Let me see who's the better man in uh, goals. So this guy plays more like a playmaker. Eberle actually plays more like a playmaker, boys. Nyquist. Um, kind of kind of equal. Both. Uh, it's a kind of a tie, boys. It's kind of a tie. And he's a sniper, but I want to look at the one that scores the most or has the best scoring ability. So I guess looking at the one that has the best shooting percentage, maybe. So let me see which one has the best shooting percentage. 2.2, uh, 12.2. I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? Let's take Eberle anyways. Let's take Eberle. I'm really excited about having Eberle in the team, boys. Looks like he's going to be a great player for us. I'm sorry for the fans of Nyquist. But the old players for the, the team, boys. The old players that were in the Red Wing Detroit, the Detroit Reddings. They're out of here. They're not coming back for now at least. We're getting rid of them. We're giving our team a new look. Uh, just to see how this is going to go. So advance the day. Alright, so we've got Mitchell Wright. For our... Our scouts. So we got Vyacheslav Afeginoganov, boys. You guys already know him. Former NHL player. He's going to be there for the Russian team. For Russian side. There we go. We got Zablocki on our team. Now let's see. A Sidhu. We got another one right here. So we got all three of our scouts uh, that I needed to sign. Chasson is there. We got Matt Molson, Brian Flynn. That's good and all. But what I want to know is my big players. So we got Shara. We got Brabovsky. We got Panarin. We got Eberly. We got everyone, boys. All right. We've got everyone under the team. Now let me sign the scout. The scouts, I want to make sure that I do get them in the right spot. So I can so actually write is the one I just got. Uh, right, I wanted them to get to the east, right? Yes, he, he is in the east. All right, so and Sidhu is the other one, which was supposed to be for WHL. So everybody's there, boys. Everybody's assigned. All right, we're good. So I'm just gonna assign advance to next season, boys. If there's some trades to do, I'll do those. Well, I'm not gonna do those in this video, but I'll check up this the roster and everything get the team up to task so that we can be ready for the season simulation next video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to see you guys for the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video
Keep it easy, boys.